The third part in the series on BIM for renovation is going to look at project presentation. We've already seen how we can create different views and drawing sheets with the different drawing styles applied. Now we're going to look at some additional drawing types. First of all, we've got the interior elevations. The interior elevations are going to be generated from this kitchen space. To create interior elevations, all we need to do is select the interior elevation tool, the drawing geometry type, and then click where we're going to place the elevations, and also from what point we're going to generate the drawings. When creating an interior elevation, that automatically gets added to our project map. So we can see the series of drawings that are generated from that marker. If I open up any of those drawings, we can see these are generated from that space. This has still got a live connection to the model. Here we can see that these are objects. We've got wall elements in here, as well as window elements. By clicking the settings button underneath, we can look at the different options that we have to control the display of these internal elevations. So I'm going to go to the model display part of the settings, and here these settings control the appearance of this particular drawing. First of all we have the cut elements. We can see that any elements that have been physically cut by the interior elevation line are being highlighted with a uniform surface. They have been coated in a black paint. We could also define those with their own surface colours or with the cut fill hatching. We have also have a uniform out outline pen associated to those elements. Next we have the uncut element settings. This, these control the appearance of any elements in front of the elevation line. We can see that at the moment they have been generated with the surface colours. We could change those to a uniform pen colour. And also a shaded view. We have the option again for a uniform pen colour, for vectorial hatching, which controls the appearance of any hatching over any surfaces, for example for the tiles. And transparency, for example if we didn't want to see through these cupboard doors, we could turn off the transparency. We have options for suns and shadows and we can define the azimuth and altitude of that sun position and here we can see the shadow casting over the top of this drawing. There are also options to define contours around the edge of these drawings. Ok next we're going to look at 3D documents. There are a number of ways to create 3D documents. We can create them from the 3D window or from a floor plan view. First of all, I'm going to turn on my cutting planes. Here we can see this ground floor plan. We can position the cutting planes by dragging any existing cutting plane or by creating another cutting plane from the side of the screen so we can control what we want to display in this particular drawing. To save a new 3D document, all we need to do is right-click on 3D documents and click New 3D document from 3D. That will generate a 2D drawing from the 3D model, but as again, with, with the other types of drawings, this is still connected to the 3D model. This does, however, allow us to draw over the top, add text, annotations and dimensions, and control the appearance of this particular drawing type. So again if I click on the settings button and look at the model display settings, we've got settings for the cut elements. At the moment we can see the hatching within those cut walls, but we could define that as a solid surface if we wanted to.
we have the options for the uncut elements everything that we see below that cut plane height so again we have the option whether we're going to show a uniform surface color or the original material color we can use a uniform outline pen and again we've got options if we want to show any hatching over the surfaces of those elements and transparency so here we can see the hatching over the tops of those tiles is now displayed finally again we could turn on the sun shadows if we wanted to We can also create a 3D document from a floor plan view. In this case I'm going to create a 3D document from this part of the ground floor. First of all, like with the cutting planes, we can use the marquee to determine the boundaries of this drawing. And now if I right click on 3D document, new 3D document from floor plan and click create that's generated a new 3D document from that ground floor drawing. The settings we get are very similar to what we used before but this time we're looking at a top projection of that particular floor plan view. So again we can control the hatching for the cut elements. We can determine how we want the uncut materials to display and we can turn on the hatching and sun shadows. So next we're going to look at some rendering techniques. If I go across to the layout book we already have some rendered views. Here we have two rendered views from the new living space at the rear of the property. So these are both created using the built-in Cine Render rendering engine. The one on the left is using a daytime setting and the one on the right hand side is using the nighttime setting, both for internal scenes. We can see the difference in the lighting within those two renders. Next we have the artistic renders. So the one on the left is using the white model effect, so this is a built-in scene type which can be selected in the rendering settings. And then we have a conceptual uh, internal scene. So this is just combining two renders into one image. Finally, we have the sketch render. So again, this is just a predefined sketch setting. And then we have a render of the external view. So we have this particular house type within the terrace. So now what I'll do is I'll create an additional couple of renders. First of all, I'm going to load the rear view of this property and then we'll bring up the settings for the rendering. We can select the scene that we want to render with. I'm going to use the white model effect. Clicking on this preview will give you a preview of how that render will look. And then we can click the render button if we're happy with those settings. So this is creating a white model effect render from the rear of the property and it can be used to create kind of cardboard effect style renderings. What I'm also going to do is create a rendering from a top view of the ground floor, similar to what we did with the 3D documents. So we're now looking at an axonometric view of the 3D window with the cutting plane turned back on. I'm going to select the scene that I want to use for this particular render and then click the rendering button. So we can compare this, this drawing with the 3D document style drawing that we created before. This time we'll get full shadow casting and full display of the textures within that drawing rather than just a vectorial hatching display. We can also see the individual components within that wall, but again we could apply a solid, a solid surface colour over the top if required. 
So we can see the shadow is cast by the walls, the furniture, and the different material types assigned to the different parts of this floor plan drawing. Okay, while that's rendering, we'll talk about the publisher set. So the publisher set is the last part of the navigator. We've already created our drawing sheets with our different drawing types, but now we want to choose what we're going to export. The publisher set lets us define which drawing we're going to export within the current issue. So that could be all drawings to PDF, it could be to PDF but with a reduced resolution or just in black and white. It could be that we want to export only the planning drawings, or we might want to export all of the GAs and construction drawings to DWG. We've also got a couple of additional publisher sets that have been created in this model. This particular publisher set is exporting the 3D window as well as the documentation to BIMX. So we have a separate movie on BIMX available. We also have a different publisher set created to go to BIMX but with, with different documentation sets.